Hello, I am Georg Karlsson. In this short movie clip, I introduce you to biological nitrogen fixation and give a brief explanation about how the root nodule symbiosis between nitrogen fixing bacteria and plants are formed and how these symbioses function. So biological nitrogen fixation it's, is this process where nitrogen gas from the atmosphere reacts with hydrogen in the form of protons and electrons to produce ammonia, which is then incorporated into the living biomass in forms of amino acids and proteins and other, other compounds essential to the living organism. The reaction is facilitated by an enzyme called nitrogenase, which is produced only by bacteria. So it is a strictly bacterial process. No other types of organisms can fix nitrogen biologically. The reaction also needs energy, which is provided in, in this biological energy carrier, the ATP molecule, which releases energy when it's transformed to ADP, as shown in the equation here. So there are different types of bacteria that can fix nitrogen. Uh, many of them are free living and some form symbiosis with plants in root nodules, which we will look more into in a little while. The biological nitrogen fixation is in certain ways the same process as industrial nitrogen fixation called the Haber-Bosch process where also nitrogen gas from the atmosphere reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia. The difference here is that these two gases need to be mixed under high temperature and pressure to make the reaction happen, and that the ammonia afterwards needs to be converted to ammonium-based or nitrate-based fertilizers, which are distributed to the crops to be fertilized. In biological nitrogen fixation, the end product is directly taken up by the organism who performs the, the nitrogen fixation. There are different types of bacteria that can fix nitrogen. This table lists a few examples of bacteria uh, that have this capacity and shows in which environments the, the different groups of bacteria live and fix nitrogen. At the bottom of the table, we have two examples of bacteria that, that can form root nodule symbiosis with plants. The Frankia group that can form symbiosis with a quite diverse uh, group of plants. And the rhizobium group, which forms symbiosis with legumes. The nitrogen fixing root nodule is the result of a very complex and a uh, complicated process uh, with many interactions between the plant and the bacteria. So this figure is a schematic drawing of the process when, when root nodules are formed. So this line here shows the outer cell layer of a plant root. So we have the inside of the root downwards and the soil environment or rhizosphere up, uh, up here uh, outside of the root. The formation of a root nodule starts by bacteria in the rhizosphere sensing exudates from the roots, different types of carbohydrates or, or proteins that, or, or small molecules that are le leached out from the root and uh, causes certain reactions in the bacteria. One such reaction is that they start to grow uh, and divide and multiply because some of these compounds provide energy for growth of the bacteria. Another reaction is that there are certain genes that are, uh, are activated in the bacteria and some of these lead to uh, uh, that the bacteria uh, make certain molecules that, they, uh, that, that are placed on the cell wall, so on, on the outside of the bacteria, which is shown here by a change in color of the bacterial cells. The bacteria can also move in the soil environment uh, and when they are 
getting close to the root and, and in direct contact with the outer cell layer of the root. Uh, these molecules that they have on the cell surface can be sensed by receptor molecules on the plant cells, which then also start some reactions, certain types of reactions inside the, the plant root and in, in certain target cells in here. For example, that we have cells starting to divide inside the root. Another response is that uh, the cell wall of the plant, of the root cells, start to degrade so that the bacteria can start coming into the root. Um, when they enter the, the root cells, there is also this formation of a, of a channel or infection thread, which is a, a, a channel going down in, in towards the inside of the root. And this channel is formed by plant cell membranes. So it's a, it's kind of a, a channel um, where the bacteria can be inside, but separated from the, the plant cell cytoplasm by this cell membrane. So bacteria can move through this channel and get, get into the inside of the plant root. And, and it's, as these cells in, in here in the plant root divide more and more actively that they will soon start to to make a new organ which expands uh, it's attached to the root but expands out from the root and, and then are um, after some some days or weeks visible as, as nodules that are new uh, new organs uh, attached to the roots so these root nodules shown by red dots here are, are the organs where, where nitrogen fixation takes place and it's always it's as I said earlier it's only bacteria that fix nitrogen but when they do it in nodules the plants can also directly have access to this fixed nitrogen and it's it, the, the plant access to the fixed nitrogen is uh, is achieved through this process then that the bacteria fix nitrogen inside the nodule and the ammonia that is produced in nitrogen fixation is quickly incorporated into amino acids which are transported out from the bacteria cells and into the plant cells and further transported through the roots and through the, the vessels to the growing uh, parts of the plant. In exchange the plant sends carbohydrates from its photosynthesis to the roots and into the root nodules. And when these carbohydrates are metabolized, they provide energy for the nitrogen fixation process. This photo is a cross section, a, a microscope image of, of a cross section of, a, of an active root nodule. Uh, and it shows several things. It shows that the, the outer layer of the nodule has a, a layer of, of, of uh, a dense cell layer, which, which creates a, a type of diffusion barrier, which is illustrated by this graph, which shows the, the measured concentration of oxygen, showing that the oxygen concentration is, is uh, much higher outside the nodule than inside. So when, when one are, when one is inside the nodule, the oxygen concentration is much lower, partly because of this diffusion barrier by the dense cell layer, partly also because there is this red color in, inside the nodule. This red color comes from a, a protein called leg hemoglobin. And as you can understand, hemoglobin is, is similar to the hemoglobin that we have in our blood cells. That's also why, why it has this red color. And it has this, the same function that the hemoglobin in the root nodule binds oxygen so that the, the free oxygen level in here is, is kept at a low uh, concentration. And this is required because the nitrogenase, remember the enzyme that facilitates the nitrogen fixation reaction, this enzyme is destroyed if it is exposed to high levels of oxygen. So the, the symbiosis has developed these interesting mechanisms to keep the oxygen level at a low concentration inside the root nodule, um, while at the same time distributing oxygen to the 
metabolism of carbohydrates. This, this uh, breakdown of carbohydrates and release of energy needs oxygen. So this is then distributed by the hemoglobin, but, but the free oxygen is kept at a low level. That was the short introduction about how, what nitrogen fixation is and, and how nitrogen fixing root nodules are formed and function. You can find more in, in uh, lecture slides available uh, at the course uh, website.